Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on a Ranger. Um, we're going to do a complete oil change, switch out the oil filter, and add new oil. So I went down to AutoZone. I'm also going to be doing the uh, fleshing out my antifreeze radiator uh, coolant. Radiator fluid is pretty gnarly, but. Um, AutoZone has this little kit for $10. I paid, you know, maybe a little bit more for the oil filter that's separate and high uh, mileage synthetic blend for my oil because this has got a lot of miles. Um, so, rather do it myself than pay Jiffy Lube like five times as much to do it. Total cost for me with the antifreeze uh, stuff was $68 and the radiator change at even Meineke was going to be like 70 bucks, no, $90 alone and then oil change, you know, anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. So, um, just saving a bit of money doing it myself. Plus, I'm uh, going to change the air filter too, those 10 bucks on its own at Jiffy Lube. It was $50 for an air filter, so it's like, fuck like that shit. Um, sorry for the language. They give you a nice little hand cleaner, uh, you know, a little funnel to catch oil, oil pan itself to set underneath the vehicle and collect oil, oil filter, some towels, and that's all we need. All right, so we're underneath the truck and this uh, thing right here has, has got the nut that we got to unscrew, just that one right there in the middle. Um, and I put the oil pan right underneath because once you open that up, the oil's going to drain out. Before you do that, you want to come up here and go to the engine oil cap. Want to unscrew that just a little bit to let the air, you know, in and so that it'll drain faster. And since my ratchet set is too small for this, I gotta use a wrench. I'm just gonna unscrew that bolt and uh, oil's gonna come pouring out. There you go. Leaking out, let that drain out, and in the meantime, clean my hand. All right, so while that is draining out, we got the new filter right here. SCP, it was on sale with the air filter and everything else, so why not? Um, some people, well, I guess everybody, marks the date and mileage on the filter so you know, so you can remember like how often you need to change it. Today is September 5th and my current mileage is 149.315. So I'm going to mark that there and unscrew the old one that's just above there and put it in. So that white canister is what I'm going to be unscrewing and that other dripping spot is where I'm going to re-seal uh, the, um, the oil there. So I'm just going to unscrew that one, put the new one in, and close this back up. Alright, so right up in there, it's kind of hard to see. That's where we're going to be screwing the new cannon, right there. Alright, so we've screwed it in. There's the new can, and... I say not to over tighten it, so just as much as your arm strength can do is fine. You don't want to pop off the inside of the filter, so just tighten it in there and you're good to go. Alright, so we got the uh, bolt back on here. We're just going to tighten it up a little bit to make sure it's on there. Alright, and uh, with the oil that we have drained, we'll uh, 
put it back into the old container or the, the container that I'm going to empty when I fill it up and uh, AutoZone will actually recycle it for me if you live in a city like uh, Portland they uh, do, they also do recycling if you set it out next to the recycling stuff so uh, be sure to recycle your oil alright so we're back on top and we can go ahead and take off this oil cap we're gonna fill it up with uh, the type of oil that this truck needs. Let's stick that in there. And try to... So, because this is a high mileage, I'm using a fully synthetic blend. Uh, this truck takes five quarts, so I'm gonna dump this whole thing in there. Alright, so like I said before, I'm going to put the old oil that I just uh, took out back into this and AutoZone will recycle it for me or I could set it on the curb either way. Um, but that's all. Got to put the cap back on and she's good to go. Alright, so we just changed the oil, uh, changed the filter and put fully new oil so we're gonna go ahead and check it make sure that it's full so just pull this guy out wipe it down so you get a clean reading dip it back in and it is totally full so um, we're good <laughs>